Hello everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is June 25th, 2022, and Bitcoin is still in an uptrend. Yes, we are still in an uptrend despite the underwhelming price action. We're making higher highs and higher lows, and so is the rest of the cryptocurrency markets. Now, I'm going to explain to you why we're move, moving so slowly, so deliberately, and what we can expect from other assets in the cryptocurrency space. If that interests you, then watch until the very end. Hope you're having a great Saturday wherever you are. All right, let's get into it. So if you're subscribed to the channel, you'll know that I've been saying that Bitcoin is in a corrective wave, okay? It is in a corrective wave. And the reason I know this with a high degree of probability is because when we made this low right here at seven um when was this on uh, the 18th right so about a week ago right when we made this low at around 17,600 we had to put in what is called a a, a an initial break of structure an a wave okay even though this is your, even though this is as Elliot would call your Ralph Nelson Elliot Elliot would call this your orthodox low, okay, your actual low. Don't anticipate that the price just reverse immediately from here. No, you have to put in some consolidation, some reversal, as Elliot called an A B base, okay, as I call it a reversal pattern, okay. You need to put in an AB base, and this is just the first component of that AB base. This is your A wave, okay? And your A wave is comprised of three waves. One, two, and expect a third wave up here, okay? And that third wave is going to be impulsive. And we are in the impulsive portion. However, understand where we are uh, technically we're still in this range right here, which has a lot of resistance, okay? So it's no wonder that given all the resistance, all the price action here, right, we're in the same range as this B wave, that we're moving that slowly, okay? We're only going to see some uh, impulsive price action in this impulse once we breach this level right here, okay? This is served as major resistance. And anytime the price is under here, you can see that it's been rejected. It's been rejected. It's been rejected. And there's just so much buying and selling going on here. You're not going to see the buyers take control until we get above this area. Okay. And this area is now represented by about 21.5. Okay. Once the price gets above 21.5 and closes a significant uh, candle above 21.5, maybe an hourly or two hour, maybe a four hourly candle above 21.5, then you can anticipate some more um, impulsive price action to the upside, okay? And more specifically, using our Elliott wave count, let's go into the four hourly time frame just so we can encompass all of this movement. So... Um, just to recap really quickly, I do not see Bitcoin's price going above this area right here. And this area I'm going to show you is represented by the 1236 Fibonacci extension. Okay. And there's a reason for that. You see, I have my fifth wave of this impulse coming up here and only here, right? And that's represented by around 24 K. At the most, I can see it flirting with the 1618 at 25.3, but I don't ex anticipate it to come beyond these areas because this again in my estimation is an initial break of structure it is a corrective wave okay and that corrective wave typically it targets wave four of the previous trend which this is okay and it is the first of a sequence of uh 
corrective waves that you have to put in before a large reversal. And I do think that this is the orthodox low. People ask, oh, is the low of Bitcoin been hit? I believe so. Okay, the orthodox low basically means that this is the technical low point. But in the process of uh, doing this consolidation reversal, okay, and I believe that at when it's all said and done, we're going to do 30 to 40 days. It's going to be 30 to 40 days in this range right here. You may have Bitcoin setting a, a newer low, a lower low, but it's not your orthodox low. It's it's just going to be in the course of the reversal. It's not going to be in the course of, you know, uh, continued impulsive price action to the downside. So this is what I'm seeing. OK, and this is what I'm expecting. So all all the while. All coins are going to do something completely different. And I've explained this in on this channel before, like because Bitcoin and maybe Ethereum, a select few assets, have yet to put in their reversal patterns. They've just formed, they've just created their orthodox low for this large trend, large downtrend of a year plus. Okay. Now we can expect altcoins to do something different only because they have already put in their reversal patterns, okay? And staying on the four hourly time frame, I can prove that to you by showing you Dodo, which is the first coin on our watch list. We're just going to go through down the watch list as, as usual, okay? We're going to talk about Dodo, Litecoin, Reserve Rights, ADA, Cardano, Telcoin, Kadena, and Ravain, okay? So that's what we're going to talk about. Guys, if you're getting value, please like, share, and subscribe. All right, so this is the orthodox low for Dodo, all right? And that was set on May 12th. For most altcoins, your orthodox low was set on May 12th. And since then, the price has been confined confined to these ranges, okay? And this is exactly what I was referring to in Bitcoin. I expect 30 to 40 days of consolidation in this reversal pattern, okay? And I'm not gonna go into the specifics of the reversal pattern, but if you're interested, a good base is what Elliot called, Ralph Nelson Elliot called the AB base. There's not that much information on it. There's a little bit, there's a small paragraph in Nature's Law, okay? His treatise, The Nature's Law. Um, but I independently derived my reversal pattern even before I knew about Elliot discussing the the AB base. And, and I just derived it based on, you know, the rudiments of Elliott wave theory, you know, and just a lot of observation and a lot of, you know, just charting and trading and charting and trading. Anyway, so this reversal pattern here has finally ended, I believe, and now we're in impulse, okay, just like most of the altcoins in our watch list. And if I had to have a go at putting in an Elliott wave count for this. I think that we are, we are in, um, the primary, I, I would just call the default wave, um, degree primary. Okay. So I'm just going to go with that. So we're in primary two and we're headed to primary wave three. Okay. So again, just like Bitcoin, you got a lot of choppy, although we're in impulsive price action, okay, we're technically in a five wave impulse. We haven't gotten much of any, you know, impulsive, like, you know, fast and furious uh, price action to the upside because we've been stuck under these levels, right? There's a lot of resistance here. You know, for one, it's the base of an entire channel that you've formed for the past 40 days, okay? And then secondly, you have all of this price action, all of this buying and selling, this cluster, and you're just stuck in this cluster. So only when this is breached, okay, can I expect, uh, you know, a, a big run, an impulsive run, and that would be targeting the third wave. That would be in the third wave. So I see that we've put in the first wave, and I see all of this as I as I just uh, pointed out here in my wave count as being a flat correction, or maybe it, it's, um, yeah, it's a flat correction, but it's a complex flat correction. Okay. I, I labeled it ABC, but I think a more accurate representation would be um, a triple three. 
okay a triple three a w x y x z all right and let's just let's just fix that right here um all right so let's zoom in all right let's jump down into the hourly time frame okay and I'm just, you know, that just something that hit me right here. It's like, no, that's not a regular simple flat correction. That's a triple three, I think. Okay. Yeah. And I see it more clearly now that I'm talking to you. And this is one of the reasons I do this YouTube stuff. I don't get YouTube re revenue. Like I don't, you know, I, I make all my money from trading, but I just see different things when I present my ideas uh, in this format. And so I love it. Okay, and I think this was it. This was Z right here. Um, and that's so clear to me now, but it wasn't right before. So I'm just going to leave that count there. I think we got a triple three. And by the law, well, by the guideline, it's not a law, by the guideline of proportionality, right? waves of the same degree um, are can be expected to behave uh on a similar time frame okay so uh if you took if this is really uh wave one right let's say this is wave one uh let's see wave one from here yeah and you took the time it took for wave one that would be two days and 12 hours okay two days and 12 hours what's that 48 that's 60 hours yeah uh and now let's see about this triple three, this reported triple three took you about four days. So it, it is, it doesn't have to be exact, but it's proportional. That's the guideline of proportionality, right? Like two days and 12 hours, 60 hours, and then you have uh, four days, which is 96 hours, okay? That's proportional. And I think 96 over 60 is actually a, let's see, 96 over 60, that's 1.6. There you go. See, this is the law of proportionality. Sometimes it's one to one, sometimes it's one to one, six, one, eight. And we all know one, six, one, eight is the golden ratio. That's the golden ratio. So the time it took wave one to form was one, and I, I just did that in front of you guys. I, I hadn't done that before, but I always like to sort of uh, check on the law, uh, on the guidelines, because, you know, that's that's basically my job. I'm looking, I'm persistently um, looking for relationships, for ratios, for, for patterns, okay? You're just looking for patterns, and I think that's really how you grow as an analyst. You're not going to catch them all, but... The more you see and you're, you open your eyes to patterns, the more you key into them. Um, so, yeah, see that? One, six, one, eight. So, one to six, one to one, six, one, eight. That's what you have here. Wave one, that's your wave two. Okay. And that is just a confluent uh, sort of data point for me to really give me more. That gives me more confidence in my wave count. Do you see how that works? Like, you're never. It, it's rare to be 100% on your wave count, but you're just looking for data points to confirm, confirm, confirm your reads, okay? So I'm getting that one, and that's a complex two. So, and that two was flat, right? Although it was complex, it was flat. It wasn't sharp, it was flat. So again, law of proportionality means, uh, it uh, doesn't mean, it, it uh, indicates, it suggests that if you get a flat, wave two correction, you're likely, you're highly likely, it's not for sure, but you're highly likely to get a sharp wave four. And you can see my wave four, four corrections more sharp. Okay, right here. So I think we go one, two, three up here. Okay, somewhere up here. And I got this to the 1618 of that between the 1618 and two, maybe even come all the way up here, but it wouldn't surprise me if it came somewhere up here, a sharp wave four correction, and then a wave five correction ending up here. So that's what I'm seeing in Dodo. Guys, if you're getting value, please like, share, and subscribe. Litecoin, looks like we're getting a breakout here. And uh, similar to these other waves, uh, similar to these other assets, we've been kind of choppy uh, because we've been under 
uh, serious resistance, okay? You've had this pattern play out, which is kind of like a cup and handle. Um, I think it is a cup and handle, not kind of, is it is a cup and handle. And I have my wave one, okay, here, my flat wave two, I think is just a regular flat correction. And then this is, I put in the, what would this be, the minor uh, count, okay? So this is basically wave one, the intermediate wave one, and I put in the minor count of it. And then I have a nice flat correction for a minor wave two. And then this should break. We should finally get some really nice, quick, impulsive price action to break this cup and handle pattern into this uh, primary wave three. Okay, you see how that works? Once we break this, then fireworks start. We go into wave three, um, and then we go to a wave four, and then finally wave five to complete it. But again, you're just like in Bitcoin, you didn't see much of any impulsive price action because you've been kind of stuck under significant resistance. Once that breaks, then you can see a lot more movement. Okay, so that's Litecoin. Reserve rights, I think, is a little bit different because I see here uh, an ABCDE barrier triangle. Okay, so I see wave one, wave two put in a nice sharp uh, correction, a zigzag, or yeah, a zigzag correction, I believe. And then an ABCDE triangle, you can see with the barrier to the top, right? And then the slant, uh, slanted bottom, and it's consistent. And I think. Once that breaks, we break this big pattern right here, this inverse head and shoulders as I've been showing for the past few days, going into really impulsive price action into the primary wave three, okay? Cardano, I'm seeing Cardano behave similarly in that, you know, you're not getting impulsive price action, although you're in impulse because you're stuck under major resistance. The major resistance is clearly all of this chop, but you can see this also forms a type of inverse head and shoulders, okay? So I've counted out uh, primary wave one, primary wave two, and then the minor five wave count that I think that we just put in. And this flat correction, that one, two, three, that we just put in, the minor wave two correction that will finally, should finally take us out of this resistance this major resistance into an impulsive wave three okay so that's what i'm seeing with cardano for telcoin uh similar to the others but a little different because i'm seeing telcoin um is one of the few that has breached this you know resistance okay it's just just barely breached it and now it's retesting it in its uh, third wave, okay, it's primary third wave. So that minor wave, uh, so, so sorry, that intermediate wave one is right here, is complete. Intermediate wave one is complete. This is intermediate wave two. Um, and I think intermediate wave two either does something like this. Uh, I don't think that it can be finished just because by the law of proportionality, once again, uh, for this uh, intermediate wave one, it took approximately two days, 20 hours, right? So that's uh, 68 hours. It, it's unlikely that your wave two is complete in 12 hours. Do you see what I mean? It's just, uh, it's disproportionate. So I do anticipate for Telcoin that this, uh, what would it be? This minor wave two, or sorry, intermediate wave two do something like this, okay? It, we just spend a little more time in this correction, testing this pattern, the, the 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 newly broken resistance of this pattern as support. You see how that works? So that's my account for Telcoin. Kadena, I think that we're putting in a really interesting pattern here. It is uh, very clearly uh, a leading diagonal. I think one, two, three, four we've already put in wave four and i think we basically started with wave one and two the intermediate wave one and two of this leading diagonal okay and so i think we just finished wave two we're going into wave three we finally break the pattern um ravine last but not least 
it's putting in its reversal pattern, its A, B base, as Elliot would call it, uh, for a massive wave three. So that's what I'm expecting out of Ravain. All right, that's pretty much it for me. I hope this was helpful. I hope this was useful. Like, share, and subscribe, and have a great Saturday. I'll see you next time. Bye.